So here I am, Exxon Zing Show, episode number 288. Um, it's Saturday morning. Hope you guys are feeling good and feeling fresh. Um, what am I going to do today? Most of my day is going to be spent running and doing push ups and stuff and, you know, just generally doing what I do. But I also might go out this weekend. There's a few um, really good events on at the moment that I've kind of spotted on your old resident advisor that we're going to quickly go through. Some stuff that I think might be of interest to some of you guys who are going out this weekend. Um, I might go out to this place called um, Venue 10, what, the Venue MOT, Venue 105 MOT, I forgot what it's called. It's somewhere in South London. Let me see if I can find it up here. It's similar to like, the cause, it looks like kind of in terms of layout in terms of approach in terms of yeah in terms of layout and approach and programming it looks similar to the cause but i think it's based in south london let me quick see if i can check get it up on here it's a six da, 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 where is it it's not on here why isn't listed on there for let me see if i can get it up on here venue it's called like venue i think they do a lot of um i think they do a lot of uh boiler rooms there as well mot 105 something venue is it what's it called let me see if I can find it. Venue. M it's a MOT unit one there. Let's see if I can find it there. It's on Facebook. It's on Resident Advisor. Saturday they've got an event. And then I think the one I wanted to go to was I think the one on Friday, which is only listed on the Facebook, I think. So let me see if I can check it up on here. But this is the place I'm talking about anyway. So I can just get up on the screen for you guys to see. It's got a similar sort of like dystopian sort of like underground Grease Mueller sort of like vibe that um, the cause has. Maybe it's run by the same people. I'm not too sure. But this is what it kind of looks like. Hopefully you can see it up on the screen. All right. There it is right there. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. All right. Hopefully you can see that. Can you? Hopefully you can. Yep. You can see that. So that's, 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 that's where it's situated. Nice low ceilings. They've got like a, I think they've got the iconic sort of cage that kind of encapsulates the DJ booth. I think that's the one, right? Is it the same one? I think so. It might be the same one. So let's double check and see the events that they have coming up at the moment. Get that off the screen first of all. And then we can go through the Facebook so I can show you exactly what the vibe is. Yeah, let's see here. Oh, let's click on the venue on Facebook and see what they've got planned. But I'm sure there's an event I saw on there for the Friday. It might be, oh, you know, it might be actually. Um, I think it's a World Unknown. World Unknown, I think, is happening on the Friday at Venue 1 or whatever that thing is called it. I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. Or maybe something else. But there's an event happening at the moment at this Venue MOT, Venue MOT Unit 18 and 20. I'm pretty sure Boiler Room have done a few events there. So that's happening this weekend. Um... I'm just checking the Facebook now. And of course, they've got the event listed on here. They've got the six. They've got World Unknown. It's happening next tomorrow or tonight. Basically. Well, yeah, what well, happened yesterday, basically. Um, then they've got Distant Planet happening this today on Saturday. So, yeah, check that out if you're that way inclined. And then what else do I have listed on my list here? I have... Oh, I don't want anything else, actually. So let's have a look at the actual listings and see what's actually happening. Because I don't have actually anything listing on that. I think because I was away at Berlin, I probably just had my eyes set on that in general. But let's see what events they, we have going on in London this weekend. Uh, we have Annie Mac Presents. Um, so that should be a pretty good one. Um, it's a little bit commercial, don't get me wrong. But, you know, Annie, Annie Mac is probably one of our best hybrids when it comes to a person who can play on like a regular drive time radio show right and and get your feet you know tapping on the floor i imagine if i had a car and any mac was playing whilst i was on my way back from work i'd be skanking do you know what i mean i might get involved in some kind of accident which i of course wouldn't blame on her and i blame on my own reckless behavior but i think she has that weird uncanny ability which i think is very much um uh very much a, a flipping um i would say it's a, a good illustration of just why i think in general overall uk djs are probably better than anyone else in the world i think because we have that um history of growing up on radio of growing up with radio disc jockeys who at the big thinking of someone like john peel right that was a that was a weird era right he was john peel essentially was able to do like an nts show on like a national syndicated radio station right that's what he was able to do he was able to play the most obscure shit and mix it in with some commercial pop stuff that he found that he thought was good and still have the um, draw to pull in all the underground fans, all the chin strokers and still be appealing to like the casual fans too. So that's probably a good inspiration of it. And I think that kind of schooling of being able to play 
and also I think because of the time constraints too, because most of our bars and pubs, we don't have the ability to play longer sets like, you know, some of our European counterparts. We have to get really good at being concise and at being precise and at packing in as much as you can into an hour, an hour and a half, or maybe sometimes max two hours you've got in a set. So we come with the noise. We don't fuck around. We don't just warm up and play, you know, some ambient stuff or play some sound stuff or some white noise or some random, you know, really uh, um, avant-garde jazz track. We have to come really hard so i guess because of that or oh, come really hard that sounds really mad but whatever we keep on going i think because of that once we go and book once uk djs get booked in other places around the world i think that's why we're able to adapt a lot easier than others because we have that experience of okay number one we can play warm we can play warm-up sets when no one's around. We can play... We have the experience of playing, you know, underground radio sets with for, like, you know, a group of our friends. We have the experience of playing in bars and pubs around the country where no one gives a shit who you are. You have the experience of playing in some of the best clubs in the world. And you have the experience of also playing around the world. So you've got all that experience worded into one person and it makes complete sense. So I think that's why that experience has, in my opinion, made UK DJs the number one in the world. But anyway, Mac presents. The lineup is happening there. So Pritton Works, which is obviously, you know, one of our biggest and best venues we have in London at the moment. I would say best one of our bigger venues in London. Uh, I think the capacity is way high. I'm not gonna. I'm probably gonna say probably in the thousands. Is it in the thousands or in the five hundreds? It must be in the thousands, isn't it? Printworks. It's huge, huge, huge space. I still haven't been actually, but it looks incredible from the pictures. Um, so far, fourth release tickets, thirty-seven fifty plus four fifty um, booking fee. Lineup um, main people. I guess you got there are Annie Mac, Disclosure, and DJ Seinfeld. Disclosure will be good to see because they just dropped that new EP, which is a bit underwhelming, isn't it? Is it only me? I thought that new EP was a tad underwhelming. Um, again, I'm not sure. I've always had, I've always been of the opinion, like people like Disclosure, who are insanely talented at making music, who are kind of like savants, right? Like prodigy, child, child prodigies for better, for lack of a better term, right? They, they remind me of like the, they're like a newer version of that, the Martinez brothers, right? They started off playing and making music when they were bloody eight years old and shit. I think that people like that, especially when they're maybe coached or managed by their managed like by their parents or by family members who have obviously noticed their talent i think it's better when the parents or the family don't give a shit and they only care when you blow up i think once your career has been managed really closely by a select group of people and a small team when you're really young it makes it makes it unlikely that once you get older the music improves it, it usually kind of flatlines it gets a bit stale and i think maybe this goes in a bit of a stale period because that ep was really forgetful um, and I was really looking forward to it. I'm a big Disclosure fan. Like, I'm one of the people that actually, you know, again, I don't care how popular or poppy someone is. If they make good tracks, they make good tracks. It is what it is. But I wasn't really feeling any of the tracks on that new EP. But again, I think it'll be good to see them live. Uh, DJ Seinfeld, of course, who always does well in that kind of space. He's probably one of the better people at kind of doing that sort of like festival-y kind of uh, bigger nightclub-y kind of audience, which print works attracts, right? Um, I would assume so. So... He would do pretty well there. And then uh, I think in the other place, Music Factory, you've got um, uh, Adelphi Music Factory, you've got Jaguar, Leopold, Lose Nightmares on Wax. Well, obviously, no Night Flate, I don't, Route 94, I don't either. So definitely check that out if you're that way inclined. It's probably one of the better places to go to in London because, again, as you saw in the lineup, it opens at 7 and closes at 2. It's completely pitch black in there. You have no idea what's going on the outside. You get out at 2 a.m., you still have a chance to get an, on a central line or get on a, you know, Jubilee line and head home. So all is good there. So that was one. Whilst you have here, you have um you have Oliver Collective and Superflu playing at Fabric, I don't know, and Groom, sorry. You have Shogun Audio playing at Still Yard, you are Dusky again, the the residency, I think it's about to end soon, right? Playing X O Wire. Whenever they put tickets on door on the back on the headline, you know they haven't sold that many. So again, I, I probably wouldn't want that if I was a DJ. It probably cheapens your night a little bit. Um you've got Campier and Buku Buku. Um, playing at the Jazz Cafe, that should be good. Head to that's that's RA's pick there. They head to Jazz Cafe for a night of celebrating the finest Afro Beats UK funky and fresh club sounds. You don't really hear that too much, do you? Remember that that was a big thing when I used to promote parties back in the day at the Alibi um, and other places around Dawson. One of the main things that we used to do was kind of get a lot of the UK funky dudes in, a lot of the grand guys, a lot of the garage guys. It was really fun because they create quite. They, I think that that's the best way to really pop off those kind of parties in that kind of area like really fun loose disco some cheesy hip-hop cheesy pop rock stuff like they do at the oh what's my what's one of my favorite dive bars and i forgot the name of it oh damn it ah oh, it's near clapton pond 
what's the fucking name of it called again anyway it doesn't matter but that kind of stuff works really well in london because we don't really have the ability to have like um a whole night and morning's worth of fun we don't have bars that open till seven close at seven in the morning unfortunately so if you're going to have a dj playing it's probably advantageous to have them play some fun party music and you don't get more fun or more party orientated and afro beats uk funky um in that kind of environment so that should be good then the other pick they have here is Time Dance at Village Underground with Butu Dini Ab- 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 Abdelaweed, which we did a really good um, RA um, mix recently, actually. Ploy, Daniel, Alaska, and a few other people. Um, then you've got Box 7 Birthday Party at Corsica. You've got Young Malka playing at Phonics with Jamie Tiller. That should be fucking cool. Young Malka is one of my favorite DJs, a Dutch DJ who has a hair, wears a headband and mixes, plays a lot of vinyl and, and, and uh, on CDJs as well. Um, loads of cool kind of like um, electro-y kind of new disco-y kind of indie dancey like stuff that he mixes in I, I think he's quite similar to Gerd Janssen who's approached Young Marco again a very underrated DJ in the scene um, you've got Materials at Code Code 9 playing at CLF Art Cafe uh, Drum and Bass All Stars wow that's sold out I suppose but E1 Mamma Mia that's really good isn't it Drum and Bass is one of those kind of undercut under under um, underappreciated genres maybe something similar to like trance that's kind of heard of every resurgence drum and bass nights do really well there's still a core fan base of drum and bass fans who just go to the nights out when they all the big players get booked they don't give a flying toss they'll go they'll buy a ticket and they'll re- relive all the glory years like i'm obviously not listening to drum and bass anymore as i did when i was younger but it's cool to see the kids still give a shit about it um then, then you've got axon wax and what's record playing at mix so quite a few interesting nights happening. You've got Leighton Stone Ballroom. Oh, okay. You've got Inkling Room presents Patton DJ, Graham Dunburn and Moomba. Okay. This happening at Islington Ballroom. I wonder what that's about. If that's a big deal. Because Islington, Leighton Stone Ballroom is not too far from where I actually live. So that could be a good place to go to. Um, is that like a new, is that a place that they're going to be opening more stuff at? Let's click on the venue and see if there's any more stuff happening there. Yeah, look, we've got, uh, we've got Trojan Records night happening on 21st of March. Okay. That's pretty cool to see. Um, again, it's literally up the road from where I live. It's, I think it's on the. I think it's on. I think it's in the same place where um, where the Red Lion is actually. So I think it's the it's the room up above where they do their all their little club nights in. So that should be pretty cool. So if you live in the East London area, definitely check that out. You've got London something. You celebrate UK sound system culture with London true scene OGs at the Orange Yard, which should be pretty cool as well. Then heading into Saturday, what do we have here? Let's roll down the window and head head into Saturday. We've got Honey D John playing at oh, I'm playing at Village Underground. That's gonna be insane. That's gonna be insane. That's already sold out. I'm pretty sure. Um, tickets will probably be coming, probably be reselling. I guess if you wanna go, um, definitely keep an eye out for tickets. They'll definitely be, um, they'll definitely get added to the resale queue. And and R A is really good as well with it because when you buy tickets via the R A app, it has a button where you can immediately just resell it straight away without having any without flapping around so that should be pretty cool so if you're that way inclined definitely go it's as honey Dijon presents black girl magic with babes um playing there so jada g sipping tea and eliza rose that should be a fucking immense night uh happening there at village underground so definitely check that out it's open until 6 a.m as well so that's gonna be fucking nuts that's gonna be really really fun um loads of good vibes there if you have if you've ever seen um the honey Dijon's recent honey boiler room set that was outside all the glitter. You know how much of a fucking slayer she is behind the decks. Um, of course, Fabric, you've got the standard incredible night of um, Enzo Siragusa playing all night long. That should be a good as well. You've got La Fiesta at the Still Yard. I'm not sure who all these people are, but it's already got 780 people attending. Who's, who's this? La Fiesta at the Boru, at the at Finger. And it's sold out as well at the Still Yard. Who are these people? After purchasing, t- I've set for start a new decade selling tickets per first week. Why are they putting the amount of tickets they sell there in the description? That's a bit cringe, isn't it? Um, but yeah, okay, that should be cool. I'm assuming this is like a a housey sort of night, right? There's someone called a George Mensa. Let's see what let's see what these people look like. What they there's someone called Billy Cox. So let's see what their mixes sound like. They got a SoundCloud link. Now he's, he hasn't got a SoundCloud link. How about this guy Bongo Ben? Has he got a SoundCloud link so you can see what they kind of play? I'm assuming it's like yeah, if this hands in the air sort of stuff, it's definitely gonna be. Your standard like housey stuff. Let's see what it sounds like. Yeah. So if you want to hear that kind of stuff, you know where to go. Sounds standard, isn't it? A little bit standard, a little bit um, a little bit meh. But what can you do? Uh, continue here again. You've got um, obviously the uh, you've got the Soul Train. Oh, Soul Soul and Bass at the. Um, 
what do you call it CLF Art Cafe in the Busy Building Block A so um, again one of my most favourite nights actually to go to in South London um, the, the Soul Train nights they're always packed it's always a good vibe people get dressed up they don't take themselves too seriously they have sometimes they have some live band as well that play too um, loads of percussion stuff so I remember one time there was a guy playing on sax that was just fucking incredible so definitely check that out if you want to go there that, that should be a good one that's always a good time the Soul Train uh, South London Soul Train sorry you've got uh, Papa Loco uh, Revolution with Bane, Simao, and O2 playing at Fold as well. Again, Fold, one of my favorite lo- venues in London. That's an easy one to go to as well because they open until 6. So if you check that out if you're that way inclined. And yeah, loads of good vibes. And you've got Para Vibe, of course. They do those weird underground um, warehouse parties all around London. So that should be pretty cool. And that's open until 11, 11 to 11. So definitely check that out. I think I'm going to add myself to the guest list on that one as well. So yeah, loads of cool things happening on the weekend. Um, head, check out Resident Advisor as per usual for all your electronic music needs and I'm sure you'll find something that is in your wheelhouse.